Oh, someone's got to man the camera then. Get get over here. Let's get this little rice rocket and go. I told you, you have to, it's a shit box. You have, somebody, to, somebody, you have to open the passenger side door first. Touche, touche. Somebody was like, I can't believe Alf doesn't like old school cars. He thinks he's better than stuff. I was like, no, I just like newer things, but I, I'm not opposed to old cars. Just, I don't like Yo, the white balance stuff. in this camera was dialed. Okay. Now we have to open the other door manually. Now I can just get in. Okay, that works too. Oh, Lord. Ow! It's so little. You Orientals are so tiny. Just open the door. Oh my goodness. You're parking it right here? I don't know, I'll put it anywhere. How do you? Oh, there's buttons. They don't yeah. work. No, they, they work. Claustrophobic. All right, what do you want? I just wanted a cool angle. Park it at a good angle then. Okay. Why in the rev. middle of the parking lot? Because it looks sick like that. Oh my. Now there's going to be traffic. <laughs> just get over here and talk about the car. Look at this. It looks sick this way. It looks just like a little car from like Pixar. Right here. That's it. End the story. Just kidding. Okay. What, what year is talking? this? Does it have 400,000 miles? It's an NA Miata, which is I think the first generation. Correct me if I'm wrong because of the pop-up lights. It has. Do they pop up? Yes, they do. You want to see them pop yes. up? Yes. Give it to me! Oh, that's so sick! I wish I had a car that did that. You don't do that. Why can't you do this? I guess you can flap your wings, but... <laughs> but, the pop-up lights, fake rocket bunny kit. This came on here. We're probably gonna get the smaller ones because I don't like them this wide. I don't know what wheels are these. Rota, I guess. <laughs> fake Rotas. Hand cooked tires. What size are these things? 15, 16? Why am I doing this? I don't know anything about Foo! <laughs> okay, oh, it has a hard top. That's aftermarket. It's hard. Is it carbon? Confirmed hard. No, it's car uh, fiberglass. Fiberglass. Yeah, typically these guys are soft top convertible. Boards. Is that my phone? Yep, that's, that's my phone. phone. <laughs> Probably gonna need that at some um, point. Hold on. Yep. Fiberglass too? Yeah. But I think we're gonna do smaller ones because it's too wide. And it rubs front, on everything. The front rubs like hell. Yeah. So we're gonna cut down the inside even more. Smaller fenders, no wheel spacers, and it'll be perfect. How far out would you say this is? Eight inches? That is about <laughs> six one inches. Silly goose. That's a silly goose. That length? is a silly yeah, goose. That's a, that's yeah. a lengthy goose. That's. Oh, right. Filmy, the homie. Here's another custom uh, single side mirror. Mm. Side mirror delete. You're gonna delete it, yeah? Yeah, just yeah. quick delete. Oh, see, so already have a mad. Oh, he's person. gonna be pissed. You can go around, go around. She's not gonna fit. <laughs> she's gonna, she's gonna somehow rear end you. No! I need more space. Hold on. This is how you can tell there's some fender touching. Yeah, look inside here. It probably slashes look how it real good. Horrible, the guy cut the fender. Here, you get in there. Yeah. Did you even see? Look at that. He cut this with the butter knife. Yo, you need to adjust your brightness. It does it on its own, don't worry. Okay. But yeah, he cut that with a butter knife for sure. That's why it's cutting these tires like hell. Oh, back to the channel. So uh, yeah, it's looking uh, looking like we need Foo here. Oh, Foo's been jointing it up, eh? Dude, this is all previous owner, man. <laughs> oh, I don't want to touch that. Yeah. <laughs> In the meantime. It's a cracked pipe. Yeah. The front end, that they actually work. They go up and down. That's pretty cool. The shape is dope. Wait, wait, wait. What do you mean it actually works? I feel like a lot of people's cars, when they have the retractable headlights, they actually don't work half the time. No, it works. We're we're in the process of, of making it individually. How do you do like, that? Because the button. Oh, separate servers? The button, yeah. So you have two buttons. Yeah. So we push, and it goes up, push, it goes so down. So you wink. So yes. Hot chick? Yep, yep, yep. Cross-eyed. Hey, that comment that you made last video got a lot of feedback because they were like, what can you do with the boobs? <laughs> Remember the, the double Ds? They're, they're, no, I said triple Ds. Triple Ds. What are you gonna do with triple Ds? A lot, we've already you been over this. Can't. Yeah, we're Dude, gonna weigh them, too, we're gonna juggle them, we're gonna bounce off of them. They're too big. <laughs> Never. They're too, double Ds, yeah, but when I'm you go triple. Guy, man. I'm a boob guy, man, You know what triple D is? Triple D is like a dude with a truck like that. And he has like size 30 wheels on it. It's like, what are you gonna do with that? Like, you can't do nothing with it. 
but for each your own you know i'm an asian guy i like my things a little bit more compact <laughs> so uh i don't know what max covered but uh we got he didn't know the year or he this, did know the year but he didn't know a lot about it uh this is an na the, uh, this what one, does na mean na because uh miata when it first came out uh they had series so the na the the a is the first generation second generation is nb nc and d got it so so na because you see the a it's the first gen so it's the na uh the na was it's considered what to be the best of all the miata because it's the only one that has a flip-up light nobody else has flip-up lights so the prices of these are skyrocketing and because of that uh it has the 1.8 twin cam motor can we pop it. that uh i it, I, I don't think yeah. <laughs> we're still we're still working on that. Work in progress. WIP, a little yeah, whip. Yeah, 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 it's yeah, a whip. Yeah, yeah. And, and we did that so so people can't can't steal it. Of course. No kill switch on this thing? Yeah, huh? that is the kill switch. Ah, touche. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's uh so it's uh it's a uh, 1.8 twin cam. Uh natural aspirating. We're not turboing it, we're not doing anything because you know what turbos it usually blows up all of our cars, so it's less reliable. Yeah, I, I know I'm gonna get a lot of people are gonna say stuff about that, but come on, guys, natural aspirated, it's a little bit more fun. That's that what the NA stands for? <laughs> no, no, no. It's, it's, it normally does, but not in this. Not in this. The other good, the other good thing about this little car is that the back, the independent suspension on this is one of the most superior one for such a low budget car. That's what are you guys like, into this one? Twenty five hundred? Uh, no, it's a little bit more. I think this one is about four. Is that because it has like nicer wheels? Uh, no, are those knockoff? Because, because, because the, hard. the hard top. The hard top is very hard to find on this. Uh, and so that's what attracted us to us. Also, they paid this. for a parking permit for fall 2019 here at Citrus College. So you know that goes up in the price. <laughs> so yeah, the hard top was very hard to find. And then also this one comes with the uh, the Rocket Bunny kit. Okay. Uh, the real one or bootleg? It's not It's not the real one. It's not the real Rocket Bunny. Because you know if we're not specific, we're going to get roasted. This is not the real Rocket Bunny. Silly Come goose. on, you guys know me. I'm not genuine like that. The real Rocket Bunny kit, guys, it's like $4,000, $5,000. This thing, 400 bucks, already hurt my pocket already. But you know <laughs> This what? guy's gonna hurt you when he rear ends you in a second. You know, but, but you know what, guys? Actually, I'm probably gonna be getting rid of this kit. So if anybody's interested in it, let me know why. It's too it's too fat. I want I want to get smaller flares. And when I bought it, it came with it. So, so but I'm gonna remove it and put smaller flare uh reduce the wheels i don't want the wheels so wide because the thing is that these cars they're supposed they're built for handling and when you start putting wheels this wide on it and stuff like that you're, you're ruining the the handling of it uh let me see what else let me see we should else. call this part when we do the car talk you know how like your donut media we should call this like croissant media or yeah, something like that media. you know like <laughs> donut, bear donut claw hole, donut, hole. donut holes donut holes <laughs> yeah for the suspension we got megan coilovers uh all the way around so it's adjustable it has a uh, aftermarket clutch. I just forgot. I think it's the Kenneth put it in for me. Pause. I forgot what it is. I forgot what it was. But but it's it's got an aftermarket clutch. Pretty much, guys. That's it. I, oh yeah, the wheels. The wheels. These are just open it up because they don't know it's manual. These. Well, I've, well here I've, the wheel. The these are replicas of the Volk, but they are the TE. I think these, but they're the reps. Actually, really good reps of it. And there's of course spacers. Guys, I didn't put the spacers on. I bought the car almost as is. All we did was we put in a, a different motor. We put in a, a fresh motor. It didn't come with a motor at all. It did, the motor was blown. That's why we got it so cheap, but we put in a fresh 1.8. But we are gonna put uh, uh, some better wheels on this. So it it's is- It's crazy it, that you can fit in this car standing up. Well, I am pretty sure. <laughs> uh, so this one is perfect. Manual five speed. Stock. Stock. Everything about this thing stock, guys. Everything about this. Except stock. that radio that's missing. Uh, that, that that is Out of no, stock. That, that that is not that is aftermarket. <laughs> the radio is aftermarket. Uh, you know what? I don't want. I don't care about. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know. Oh, you know. What's funny? You know what's funny? When we're going through it, uh, one of the guys that helped me put out the put in the motor. Shout out to uh, Kenneth. Now uh, we found a joint. <laughs> You smoke a it? Joint bag. No, I don't know. It's not there no more. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, so I don't know who's there, but they're not there no more. <laughs> and then we're just gonna uh, lessen the wide body. And that's that's all we're gonna do, guys. We're really gonna have fun with this thing. I think we're gonna kind of missile it out. Are you gonna put like uh, aftermarket seats, like bu like buckets? Yeah, 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 yeah. We we had uh, and a cage or no? No cage, no cage. Like I said, 
this this is a bang for your buck car. It's more like a missile car. Some of you guys understand what a missile car is. It's, do you know what it is? A missile car is basically just a car that it's just it's fast, but no looks, no nothing. It's just it's just, raw dog. It's like yeah, exactly. It's like a <laughs> demolition derby car. <laughs> so yeah, so so that's that's our little roadster, and uh. Guys, probably, you should probably park it before it gets rear-ended here because we are in Little Saigon. No, actually we're not. Little Saigon is that way. You are Little Saigon. <laughs> I am Saigon. I am You're about to Sayonara. I, I am Saigon. So yeah, guys. So You didn't even mention the custom-ass steering wheel. That's not cut. Oh yeah, it is custom. <laughs> actually, actually, you know what? Actually, it says JDM in the middle. How much more custom can you get? Ethan showed us a steering wheel that's a heart shape. <laughs> so we might get that just to, she got a boner shaped one <laughs> boner. so every time i turn it just hits <laughs> unlike you what all is right this? i'll see you later fool what is this this thing's falling off i'm gonna take off this thing's gonna fly off <laughs> see it <laughs> all right guys uh i gotta go pick up some, some ramen all right <laughs>